Hey everybody, it's your old cousin Jack with another episode of Woodcarving Weekly. And this week, we'll talk about the world's sharpest Mora knife and using a guillotine for carving a wooden spoon. I'll explain later. We'll have a really cool Easter project for you, how to make an automata related to Easter. We'll spin around YouTube, of course, and we'll see what's happening. All this and more. Let's get started. We'll start today with a visit to Canada, to the Big Bear Wood Shack, where Brett Andrews has a YouTube channel. He does a lot of green wood carving, and he focuses on spoons, cups of cups, and bowls. And in his newest video, he's demonstrating how to axe out a spoon blank from a piece of maple, in which he puts the spoon blank on top of his chopping block and sort of rocks the blade of his carving hatchet in what is called a guillotine cut. New to me. Anyway, in the video you'll see Brett demonstrating quite a few r really uh, top-notch hatcheting skills. And he said that he's got some more videos dropping later this week. He told me he's going to go out wood hunting, see if he can find some cherry, maybe some maple and birch. And he already has 91 videos on his channel. You might want to check it out. Enjoy. Well, over at Stin It Sticks, Mike has a brand new video. And in this video, he's doing knife carving. Now, you may know Mike does a lot of power carving, a lot of walking sticks. In this video, he cuts a piece of pear wood and then sits down to whittle a coffee scoop with a handle that's shaped kind of like a fish. Well, it's an interesting video, and early on in the early part of the video, Mike says to the camera, I'm not really a very good knife carver. Well, after watching the video, I wrote to Mike. I said, Mike, it appears that you are a highly skilled knife carver. He wrote back. He said, yeah, uh, he said, appreciate that. He said, I spend so much time doing power carving that I'm not really comfortable using knives. It's a whole new set of skills to learn. He says, I'm mostly trying not to cut myself. Anyway, it's a fun video, and I think you'll see that the end product is pretty amazing. Uh, in the video, his little dog Pearl shows up, and she's trying to lick the spoon as Mike is putting a coat of finish on there. It's walnut oil, won't hurt anything. Uh, so Pearl apparently likes walnut oil. Anyway, it's a fun video. You'll see some pretty top-notch skills from Mike. And in that video, he uses a, a Mora knife, among other knives. Have fun. So Mike Stinnett was using a Mora knife, as I mentioned. You know, and it's hard to beat the quality and the value of a Mora knife. For example, I, I picked up this Mora knife, 511 basic bushcrafting knife, for $10 including the sheath and the quality, the durability. It's just amazing for $10, really hard to beat. Well, in this next video titled World's Sharpest Mora, Kyle Noseworthy takes us through the process of sharpening a Scandi grind Mora knife. Now, Kyle lives in Canada, Newfoundland, where he does a number of different things. He's an adventurist, an entrepreneur, he even hosts his own television show. And Kyle is a master knife maker, and he does a lot of sharpening, as you could imagine. He has a YouTube channel and a website. And today, as I mentioned, we'll be sharing a video where he sharpens a Mora knife. Uh, and he has more than 10 different videos on his YouTube channel dealing with Moras and other Scandi Grime knives. Altogether, his channel has more than 900 videos and his television series just finished its fifth season. It's called The Newfoundland Hobbyist. Well, I think you'll enjoy his channel. He's got a lot of great information there. And you might want to check out his website if you're interested in buying a really nice custom knife. Well, up next, we'll visit Stockholm, Sweden, where Jeff Gagne hosts the QS Outdoors YouTube channel. Jeff started carving back in 2020. 
and he says it quickly became his very favorite hobby. And now after many months, he has posted a brand new tutorial video. Now, Jeff likes to use a flat plane style when he's doing his carvings. And in this video, he's carving a small three inch figure of a man in that flat plane style. Now this is a great video for beginners because throughout the video, Jeff is providing commentary, tips for beginners, things that it's really important to learn, things that you learn along the way as you're a wood carver. So go on over to QS Outdoors and check out the brand new video from Jeff Gagney. Well, if you've been working with wood for any length of time, you've probably had to deal with things like chips and cracks, wormholes, and rotten parts of the wood. Alec Lacasse has a brand new video where he tells you how you can repair some of these issues. And in this video, he's demonstrating that. He has a cottonwood bark sculpture that he's been working on. Looks like the, the face of a woman. And there's a large crack along one side of the face and some rotting parts there too. And Alec provides a couple of different methods on how to repair a carving. It's kind of an interesting video, and uh, I think the methods show to be pretty effective. You'll see that in the video as he demonstrates. So, when you have a minute, head on over to Alex's YouTube channel. Well, you know, every week I put links down below in the comments section right below this video, and then also in the description of the video. Well, over at the Whittled Lovelies blog, Sarah has taken her Easter decor to a new level. She came up with an idea for an Easter project that is an automata of a, an Easter bunny kind of peeking out of a mechanized Easter egg. In her article, Sarah talks about the fact that she has no engineering background. And this was a challenge. And she talks about the very many challenges that she faced along the way with this project. She said the most important thing is to have an idea and the will to try and then learn as you go. I agree. So in the blog post, Sarah talks about all of the various steps along the way. And then also now she has a YouTube channel where you can see the automata in action. So I'll have links for both, a link to the blog post, and then also a link to Sarah's YouTube channel. Take a look. Up next, we'll go to the Chiseled Outdoors YouTube channel where Dustin Strenke is going to be carving a piece of cottonwood bark. This is a relief carving where he shows you how he puts a, a sunflower image into this piece of cottonwood bark with a variety of different tools, including rotary tools and hand tools. Now, Dustin lives in Wisconsin. He says he's always enjoyed taking a piece of wood and transforming it into something more. He's got some great skills and he shows and demonstrates some techniques that are pretty effective in how to create textures on this sunflower. I think you'll enjoy it, so check it out. Well, folks, I wanna thank you uh, and everyone for all the support, all the likes on the videos and the subscribing uh, really helps. And I wanna show you something. This video right over here is the most popular video that we've put up there so far. Go see why.